Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to do a pretty in-depth tutorial on how to fix the no sound issues and problems on the iPhone. So these fixes can be applied to any iPhone you own from the very first iPhone 3 up until the new iPhone 6S. So all of these steps pretty much follow the same method um, as all iterations of the iPhones are physically kind of similar with the port and the headphone jack so these can be used um, throughout all the iPhones. So let's get stuck straight in with step number one and that um, is the loud silent mode on the left hand side of the iPhone. Um, so this may seem very obvious to a lot of you out there but it's definitely happened to me. Um, I've put my phone in my pocket and it's somehow switched the toggle to silent mode and you can see it's on silent mode when there's an orange slit right there so if that is the case simply just switch that back to loud and that will bring the sound back to your iPhone and moving on to step number two and this is a really valuable step that all iPhone owners should know and that is the restart of the iPhone so this applies um, to any situation when you have anything wrong with your iPhone. So that can be sound, Wi-Fi, camera, 3G, 4G connectivity, pretty much any problem you come across with your iPhone. You just want to do a quick restart. And you do that simply by holding the home button and also the power button continuously together for 10 seconds. And since I won't... Um, since I'm doing this video, I won't restart it during the video. So just a reminder, that's pressing the home button and the power button and press those two together for about 10 seconds and that will restart the iPhone and will hopefully eliminate any temporary glitch that may have occurred. So moving on to step number three, which is similar to the previous one, and that is a reset. Um, so that will reset pretty much all of your settings. Um, so make sure to back up your iPhone to the iCloud or to your iTunes as it will erase pretty much all of your content and data. Um, so this is pretty much a last resort as to eliminating any software glitches that may have occurred on the iPhone. Um, and to restart your iPhone, what you want to do is you want to go into settings. Then you want to go to general and then you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to reset and then you want to go reset all settings. So as again I won't do that on this video just because it's quite time consuming. So we'll move on to step number four and this one is actually very successful um, for a lot of iPhone users. Um, I'm, I've made a previous video about the iPhone problem with the sound and this one was very very successful and at the same time it's very strange as well um, and what you pretty much want to do is you want to squeeze the bottom right hand corner of the iPhone and you want to squeeze that for about 30 seconds to a minute and this is done purely because of the iPhone speaker located on the bottom right hand corner and with any iPhone, um, they do get um, in a bit of trouble sometimes. They get dropped a lot. They get thrown around. So things can tend to come loose within the internal components of the iPhone itself. Um, so by pushing this area of the iPhone, you're actually reconnecting that speaker um, to, the, to the connectors. Um, so like I said, again, that one is really strange, but it's actually um, proven to be very successful. And um, if it doesn't work the first few times, you can just continue holding it and you want to apply a good amount of pressure to that as well. And just try that for maybe 30 seconds to a few minutes and just do it a few times as well. So moving on to step number five. And that is to clean the dock of the iPhone itself. Um, this is a notoriously bad problem on the older iPhones before the 5s. Um, so that's the 3s, the 4s and the 4s's. Um, just with the 32-pin the charging port on the older iPhones, um, they're notorious for getting like a lot of dirt in them and grime as well. Um, so when you do get a lot of dirt and grime in the port, it can actually trick the phone into thinking it's on a music dock 
or it's connected to a music station. So it won't actually play any music or kind of alerts through the phone itself. Um, so what you want to do is you want to grab an old toothbrush and you pretty much just want to get the toothbrush in there and give it a good clean out. And you want to apply a good amount of pressure as well. Um, and also this is like a good routine just to do now and again on your iPhone um, just to keep it in good condition. So I cleaned this a few weeks ago and even just in that situation right there, there was a bit of fluff that came out as well. So um, this method is very good at removing any dirt or grime that may have occurred in there. So you want to just get in there pretty good. And you can also um, use like a rubbing alcohol to assist this method. Um, but don't use any oil-based um, kind of spirits as they won't evaporate from the port itself. Um, but rubbing alcohol is definitely good just to get any of that extra dirt out there as well. And you can also try this um, method um, with a cotton uh, bud as well just to get in there and remove any dirt. So moving on to s step number six and that is to insert headphones into the headphone jack. Um, if you have an older iPhone, the headphone jack will be located on the top of the iPhone. Um, but pretty much what you want to do, and this is similar to the previous step, and if you have any kind of dirt or grime in the headphone jack, it can cause a similar problem with tricking the iPhone into thinking it's on a music dock or a music station. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to get um, any pair of headphones and you just want to insert them into the headphone jack and then you just want to pull them out and insert them in and pretty much just repeat this step like for a few minutes or so um, because the connectors in the headphone jack can actually get pretty dirty themselves so this kind of just removes any excess dirt that may have accumulated and like with the previous step you can give this a try with a toothbrush as well and that also works um, pretty good there as well so I'll remove that one and now we can move on to the next step and that is um, to pretty much restore your iPhone on iTunes and also to check for any updates um, through this through the um, iTunes store as well and you can also check for updates on your iPhone as well in the settings app so um, the good thing about iPhones is they always do regular updates. So if there was any kind of temporary glitch um, or bug in previous software updates, um, they usually address those um, pretty fast as well. So that's always another good way to eliminate any software glitches um, that may um, be causing the sound problem on the iPhone. And moving on to the next step, and that is to get a blow dryer and you want to um, blow dry kind of the bottom area of uh, the iPhone um, so I'm just using an imaginary one now as I don't have one handy for this video um, but pretty much what it does is it kind of evaporates any residual moisture that may have accumulated um, in the iPhone area around here so if you live in a humid environment or you've dropped your iPhone in any kind of um, water source, um, that can actually cause a lot of sound problems on the iPhone itself. Um, so if you just hover your hairdryer above the iPhone, keep it a fair distance because you don't want to overheat the iPhone and put it on the lowest heat possible. And just repeat that step for a few minutes. And you can also try it on the top of the iPhone um, if you have an older iPhone 4 or um, 3G. Um, so it just evaporates um, any residual moisture that may have accumulated. And moving on to the next next step. Uh, and that is similar to the previous one. And that is to blow um, kind of high pressure air into the headphone jack and also the charging connector. Um, pretty much what that does is it just adds an extra layer um, kind of of protection of removing any dirt or grime that may have accumulated in any of these areas. Um, so you can do that just by blowing in the connector itself. 
So if there's any 90s kids out there, um, if you ever had a Nintendo or a Sega, um, pretty much just do that step and just blow like crazy into these areas. Um, and that will just remove any dirt from the iPhone itself. And that is a very successful um, step that uh, many people have commented on as well. And moving on to the next step, um, which is kind of a continuation of um, the previous one, is um, getting um, a, a cotton wool bud and also squeezing the top of it and inserting that and cleaning out the dock as well. So pretty much any problem with sound on the iPhone is either going to be a software or a hardware issue. And about 80% of the time, it's going to be associated with the dock or the headphone jack. So the main objective is to really clean these out and make sure everything is in order. And another good step is to um, get a iPhone charger or an iPod charger. And similar with the headphone jack step, you just want to insert that into the iPhone. And you just want to repeat repeatedly insert it and then pull it out insert it and then pull it out and that just removes any extra dirt that may have accumulated in that area and you can repeat this step for a few minutes at a time as well great thanks for watching everyone hopefully this video has helped you with your iphone no sound issue if it has, please uh, provide this step you used below as it really does help everyone. And also if you have come up with your own step, please comment below with that one as well. Because I most likely will be doing an updated video um, with steps um, in the near future. And also if you have any other questions or queries with other problems with iPhones, um, please throw that down below as I'm happy to make more videos um, related to any problems with the iPhone. Um, pretty much thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.